Hey everyone, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. Today we're taking a look, hopefully a quick video, on Bloxy theme. And one of the things that I love about Bloxy, of course, the simplicity, the advanced customizer controls, uh, but their one-click installs of theme templates, um, which are only two right now, are really nice. And, and I just really like the experience. And there's a lot of themes that do this, um, but certainly Bloxy is starting to build up its cache of themes. And the one we're going to take a look at today is their new WooCommerce theme. So looking at the free WordPress.org plugin or theme page, uh, 3,000 active installs. I believe the last time I did the video on Bloxy, they were at 2,000. So not as fast as I thought they would be growing, but growing nonetheless. And I've been in contact with the authors, and they have a ton of new features coming. And that's really, really awesome to hear. Let's dive into Bloxy plain installation. And that's what it looks like right here. I've wiped this installation uh, before doing this video and installed and activated Bloxy. This is what it looks like. We're going to go to the Bloxy Companion plugin settings page. We're going to go to starter sites. And you'll see here we have main, we have modern shop, uh, and we have Bloxy news. And I guess I did say there were only two. Uh, technically, there's three to choose from, but two of the three are exactly uh, the same. Let's go ahead and hit import. <clears throat> it's going to prompt you to ask, uh, do you want to install this as a child theme? And the answer should be yes, because most of you know that if you modify your core theme, your parent theme, uh, if that theme ever gets updated, you'll lose those changes. Activating a child theme, making modifications to a child theme will keep you in safe company. We'll hit next. Uh, certainly because this is a uh, WooCommerce theme, you're going to need WooCommerce installed. Elementor is their preferred page builder uh, and Contact Form 7 for their Contact Form. I'm going to uncheck Contact Form 7 just for the heck of it. Uh, I would like to see Bloxy move to supporting other uh, page builders for this scenario, but it is what it is right now. We'll hit next. <clears throat> it's going to ask us, do we want to import all this content? And not just content, but the options and the widgets to set this all up to make it look like a demo or, or the demo page. So I'm going to say yes to all this. And I really like this little touch, clean installation. This option will remove the previous imported content and perform a fresh and clean install. So certainly don't do this on your live site, right? Make sure you're doing this on a staging site uh, if you're going to do a clean install because that will wipe everything out. Uh, but I do like that little uh, attention to detail. Their walkthrough is great. Their onboarding little pop-up screens are great. It's going to go ahead and install all of this stuff. It's going to download all the content. It's going to import uh, all of the content. And this is a, a tremendous, just nice, clean, easy walkthrough. So I'm going to skip ahead to the finished product, and we'll pick it up from there. Okay, the installation is done. You'll see that you are prompted with starter site uh, imported successfully. We can view the site. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Uh, you can see it's activated some of the Bloxy components. As we mentioned, we left the options on, so it's done the cookie accept or reject pop-up. Uh, but it's this modern shop, and it's a really, really great uh, looking theme. Uh, very modern, uh, very apparel-ish, <laughs> I guess, obviously, because they're showing backpacks and clothing. Uh, but these call to actions are, are pretty amazing. Um, and just setting up the homepage uh, was effortless. Uh, it, it really worked you know, really well. If I hit edit with Elementor, <clears throat> that'll pull up obviously the Elementor editor and we can dive right into uh, modifying uh, some of the sections. And, and this is the great thing about using starter sites and Bloxy isn't alone in this category. There's a ton of other themes that do things like this, but it really gets the ball rolling. And in crazy times like we're experiencing right now globally, if you're building websites for people, you know, sometimes we just we just need to get it out there. We just need to move and get this thing uh, cranking and not just spinning our wheels, working on design, you know, asking, uh, you know, what we should be modifying, what, what shouldn't we, what colors do we want to uh, play with. Let's just move quickly. And themes in the WordPress world, especially e-commerce, you can move really rapidly. But if you didn't want these types of sections, simply get rid of them, right? You can just delete these entire sections. Maybe you're starting uh, a new business uh, during this crazy pandemic. Maybe you don't have any reviews yet or any kind of, um, you know, user case studies or something like that. Just remove the sections and work yourself uh, sort of backwards here. And you can use Elementor to 
uh, modify these landing pages and these home pages. Let's take a look at some of the Bloxy customizer options so you can get a feel of what you can do with WooCommerce. All right, now we're gonna take a look at some of these options in Bloxy customizer, specifically for WooCommerce. So here I am in the all uh, shop page of my WooCommerce site. I'm gonna go to customize and this is gonna pull up the Bloxy specific customizer. And on the left-hand side, again, one of the things I really like about Bloxy is how they've really cleaned up and simplified the customizer. I think it's actually one of their strongest uh, suits uh, aside from design and all of this stuff. Uh, but if I go to WooCommerce archives, <clears throat> you can see I have these options to control the number of rows uh, and the number of columns. You can see right here, we have three columns displayed uh, currently. If I switch this down to two, it's going to magically make uh, two columns of products. Or if I went, maybe let's say all the way up to five, I could make this five uh, uh, columns of, of WooCommerce products. And I can do the same thing with controlling the number of rows, which would just add it to the pagination of, of going through the products. But you can see here, I have a ton of uh, flexibility. I can switch this card gap uh, down to, let's say 15 pixels. Uh, if we wanted to get a little bit tighter or we could really, really expand it out uh, and go all the way up to, let's see what it looks like at 100. This is what it looks like at 100. So I have that ability and I have that ability to adjust that through um, all the viewports or the three main viewports, desktop, tablet, and mobile device. And I can come in and also, you know, switch off some of these uh, uh, elements of the shop page. So I can shut off the breadcrumbs, the, the sorting um, mechanism and the shop results count if I wanted to do something like that. If I go into an individual product, <clears throat> let's go to this one, and I go back and I go to a single product, uh, here you can see uh, some of the options. And I don't know if this one will work because it might not have multiple images associated with it. So you might not see a difference there, but if there were multiple images, and maybe it's because it's constrained, no, it just doesn't have multiple images. Uh, but we can do things like what the image gallery width is. We can shrink this, move it around. So you can see very, very flexible uh, for a WooCommerce site. And this is a new theme, new theme on the block. Uh, there's a lot of options here. And again, this is not something that's super unique to Bloxy. I just like their approach to it. Uh, and I think many of you, you know, will as well. You can get rid of the star rating if that's, uh, not useful to you, get rid of product meta altogether. Um, you know, you can really drill down with a lot of these things. Uh, the last bit is the checkout page. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so here we are in the checkout page. Again, very clean, very modern, very easy to sort of navigate. Uh, but a few key elements in the uh, Bloxy uh, customizer options are uh, things that we normally run into that are always required, right? So if we, if we know we're selling specifically to just uh, consumers and never a business uh, or never the second address line and, and things like that. Uh, these are all set to optional. We can hide these elements uh, from our checkout page and just get those, get rid of those uh, all together. Uh, if we didn't want that asterisk for whatever reason to not highlight those required fields, we can remove that with this option here. Uh, we can set the privacy policy page, the terms and conditions uh, page, or optionally throw in some text uh, right here to uh, modify that. I think that this is pretty much all the options you really need to kind of condense things if you're not having a, a super complex checkout experience. And certainly they'll add more options, uh, which I'm guessing will come in the form of their premium Bloxy theme uh, in the future. Uh, I know that if you wanted to use something, let's say like uh, an Elementor or a Beaver Builder to modify these, or I know this also supports Breezy, um, modifying the checkout page with those page builders, if you want to get a little bit more granular than this, uh, is something that you, know, you also have the option to do. But I just really like it. I think it's a great, smooth, clean-looking e-commerce theme. <clears throat> In the crazy times that we're living in right now, if you're looking to get somebody's e-commerce site up and online, uh, this is a fantastic option. And I like that they have set up, uh, like if you hover over products here, simple product, variable product, group product, you can get all of the examples um, of what it might look like when you build out your own page, right? So sometimes uh, there's just a single product template and you have to kind of guess what everything else is gonna look like. I like that they added that touch with having some of those variable products there that you can uh, take a peek at and reverse engineer. I think a lot of people use themes when they have these one-click starter sites 
um, and we just install everything that's there, and then we just reverse engineer it. We just backtrack all the things we don't want out of it, and we use everything else there for the structure. So um, powered with or coupled with Elementor to power the, the design and the feel of the site, uh, man, it's, it's a heck of a bargain at free uh, to be able to build a site like this. Let me know what you think. What's your what are you launching WooCommerce stores today for 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 customers that are uh, in dire need to keep their their business going? Let me know in the comments below. I, I'm I'm very interested to see how the WordPress uh, specialist can really help uh, small businesses these days. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you're doing. Let me know about Bloxy and WooCommerce themes and what you really like. All right, it's PluginTut.com. PluginTut.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. If you like this video, thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.